Do your cords and cables look like this, but you wish they were nicely wrapped in an easy to untie method like this? Hi guys, Sensei Ryan here. My last video was a huge success. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Today we're gonna talk about the best way to wrap up all your cables, your cords, your ropes, and especially extension cords. Because if you're anything like me, then you really don't like having to try to figure out how to unwrap all of your extension cords because mine kinda always end up in a big jumble and all messed up. But before we get there, let's talk about the people in our life that matter. I'm truly blessed to have so many amazing people in my life that really honestly care about me. One of my good friends, Mr. John, he actually is the one who showed me this method. And one of my assets that I feel really strong about is the fact that I don't have to know everything. I rely on the people in my life to help me out and to provide me with more information. I don't pretend to be some know-it-all who has all the answers. What I do is I call on the people around me that care about me who are much smarter than I am. And that's what I hope that you do as well. Please. Give a call to all the people in your life that you truly care about. Let them know how much they mean to you. But without further ado, let's learn how to wrap up those cables. The first method I'm gonna show you is for shorter cables, ropes. You've got your two ends. You put them together. You wanna slide your hand along it, but don't let it slip. Go all the way along and get to the very end where you have a little curve. Give it a little bit of a crease, just so you know where it is, but nothing that's gonna harm your cord. You're gonna take it and point it downward in your left hand. Take your right hand and do a little twist. You now have a little fishy guy. He's got a little end, he's gonna swim along like this. I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna push the two that are hanging down through the hole. I've got one little loop, that loop that was on the end is hanging down. I'm gonna pull that loop a little bit. I use the one that's in my hand and I take the one that's hanging and I push it up through the hole. The easy way is you put your hand through the hole, grab the loop and pull your hand back through. Hand through the hole, grab, pull back through, but that makes really big loops. If you don't want the big loops, then you only put your fingers through, just your little fingers through like this, and then go through, and you can make them nice and small and tight. Now, when you get to the final one, you're gonna take it, and you're gonna pull it all the way through. I pull on that, and that will make a slip knot right here. So what happens is when I try to pull it, it doesn't come loose. When I pull on the other side, nothing comes loose, and it stays just like this. When I wanna undo it, all I have to do is pull these two ends back through. It'll start to slip out on its own. The other thing that you can do if it's a nice loose cable or if it's a loose climbing rope of sorts, I take it and I fling it really, really hard behind me and I go like this and I fling it out and it will pull these out. But with an extension cord like this, it's not gonna work. How I get it loose is I take my hands and I slide it down and I just push along each one of those chains and I'll pull it all the way out. I lay it on the ground, grab the one that I wanna plug into the wall, just walk over to your outlet and plug it in, you're good to go. The advanced method for long cables and long ropes, you start with the two ends again, but don't let go of them. You hold them in your right hand or your left, whatever side, you're gonna slide it through like this and and maintain these two in one hand. Slide it through, and when you get to the end, you're gonna put all four of these together. So you, again, you wanna make your little crease, go like this, and put them together. So now you've got four cables. You're gonna do the exact same thing without letting them twist. This is the most crucial part right here. You don't want them to get twisted up. Hold them nice and tight. I'm holding my left hand. Turn it around and make a nice little loop facing down, just like I did in the last one. Take my right hand, Thumb away from me, down, turn clockwise. Now, go away from me, come up through, and pull from the bottom one, push it up through that hole, and try not to lose this. And don't let go with your, with your other hand on this end, because once they start twisting, you're in big trouble. Now, pull that other end, and once you've got it so you know it's tight, you don't have to hold any longer. From there, you go this way, you wanna go and put your hand through, go through here, and then pull it back through. I'm gonna go through here and pull it back through. I'm gonna do it again. Pull it back through. And pull it back through. And then with that final strand right here, all you do is you wrap it around, put it through that hole, and then tighten it up and make a slip knot right there. The beauty is you put these two right on top of a nail in your garage, and then to conserve even more space, what you do is you take the two ends and you put them together and tighten them up in one hand. Hold them in that one hand, grab a zip tie or a twist tie, a rubber band, whatever you want. You take your tie, you put it like this, and you wrap it up. 
I've got it all twisted up here. Now what I do is I take this nice little pretty loop, hang it up on your wall, and your 50 foot cable only takes up this much space as opposed to that huge big blob on the ground. And the only thing I've found that's faster, and I've actually tried to go faster, is throwing it in a big blob. Now, of course, we know that that might be fast to put it away, but it's not going to be fast when you try to take it back out again. When you want to take this out, yet again, you take it, you undo your twist tie here, you put that in a safe place so you don't lose it, so you can put it away again. You take your double looped end, pull that double looped end on this one. Now, again, it's going to start falling out on its own. If it was loose, you can throw it or you just hold it here in one hand and slide your other hand down as you pull it like this and it's gonna loosen it up. Once it gets to the very bottom, it'll come loose all the way. What you wanna do is you wanna keep it separate if possible and just lay it down nicely. Don't throw it on the ground right yet. Grab it and pull the double ends now and then pull those away and that way you can avoid all the twists. So I hope you guys use this method the next time you need to wrap up your cables. Don't end up all twisted up and tied up like I always do. Let's get it put together the right way. And please, I post videos every week. I hope that you come back, check out more, hit the subscribe button if you liked it. Always hit the thumbs up. I'll see you next time. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for being here with me. It always makes my day. It makes me so happy to read your wonderful comments and to get to spend time with you. You guys are the best. You rock!